impossible to fill the void you left for me to mend with such little time. Memories dated to the end. Dreams of the summer. I am tired. This is Mrs. Sheehan at the pharmacy. I'm calling to inform you that due to the increased demand amidst the pandemic, we won't be able to fill your Xanax prescription until tomorrow. We apologize for the inconvenience. Hey, Reed. This is Terry Anderson following up. Calling to let you know we won't be able to bring you back from your furlough once the quarantine ends. I know when we last spoke, I'd mentioned the possibility of retaining you. But due to the economic hit, this has caused the company we've been forced to consolidate many positions, including yours. I'm aware this is horrible timing given your recent move. Hey, buddy, it's me, Ben. Just checking in on you. Hope you all moved in. Figure you got plenty of time to unpack these days. Everyone here is really missing you, man. But we're really proud you got that job and took that leap, even though it means you being so far away. Um, call me back when you can. And uh, check your mailbox, all right? Talk to you later, bro. Hey, Ben. It's good to hear from you. Yeah, you too. Sorry it took me a tick to call you back. No worries, no worries. But I only have a minute to talk before I have a conference call here. Gotcha. So how you holding up? I'm all right. I got your letter. I appreciate you sending that. That's a funny photo, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. I found it in the living room behind the couch. Mom and Dad hadn't seen it for years. Neither had I. Brought back a lot. Yeah, for me too. I just stared at it, remembering us as kids. Yeah, when was the last time you stopped and stared at something? Feels like that's all I do anymore. Watch the world systematically lose its mind. I mean beyond screens. I'm not in the mood for another one of your lectures, okay? And I don't have time to give one. But really, when was the last time you just stared at something? I don't know, Ben. Probably right now. Yeah? What do you see? I'm staring at a big tree. You know, I've never seen a tree that's ugly. I mean, sure, there warped by the world they're rooted in but always in a way that's still reaching out always in a way that just kind of works every one of them that grows free becomes perfect in their own way that's the conference call I, I gotta go sorry to cut you off I'll call you back in a bit it's all good man what are you gonna be doing I'll be uh, walking around staring at stuff <laughs> 